The Second Anglo-Maratha War was the second conflict between the British East India Company and the Maratha Empire in India. Background The British had supported the fugitive Peshwa Raghunathrao in the First Anglo-Maratha War, continued with his fugitive son, Baji Rao II, though not as martial in his courage as his father, the son was a past master in deceit and intrigue, coupled with his cruel streak. Baji Rao II soon provoked the enmity of Malar Rao Holkar when he had one of Holkar's relatives killed. After the fall of Mysore in 1799-1800, the Marathas were the only major power left outside British control in India. The Marathas were the largest and most dominant power in the subcontinent. The Maratha Empire at that time consisted of a confederacy of five major chiefs, the Peshwa Prime Minister at the capital city of Pune, the Gaekwad chief of Baroda, the Sindhya chief of Gwalior, the Holkar chief of Indore, and the Bonsale chief of Nagpur. The Maratha chiefs were engaged in internal quarrels among themselves. Lord Mornington, the Governor-General of British India had repeatedly offered a subsidiary treaty to the Peshwa and Sindhya, but Nana Fadnavis refused strongly. In October 1802, the combined armies of Peshwa Baji Rao II and Sindhya were defeated by Yashwantrao Holkar, ruler of Indore, at the Battle of Pune. Baji Rao fled to British protection, and in December the same year concluded the Treaty of Bassein with the British East India Company, ceding territory for the maintenance of a subsidiary force and agreeing to treaty with no other power. The treaty would become the death knell of the Maratha Empire. War This act on the part of the Peshwa, their nominal overlord, horrified and disgusted the Maratha chieftains, in particular, the Sindhya rulers of Gwalior and the Bonsale rulers of Nagpur and Berar contested the agreement. The British strategy included Wellesley securing the Deccan Plateau, Lake taking Dobe and then Delhi, Powell entering Bundelkhand, Murray taking Badak, and Harcourt neutralising Bihar. The British had available over 53,000 men to help accomplish their goals. In September 1803, Scindia forces lost to Lord Gerard Lake at Delhi and to Arthur Wellesley at Assay. On 18 October, British forces took the Peta of Asurgar Fort with a loss of two killed and five wounded. The fort's garrison subsequently surrendered on 21 after the attackers had erected a battery. British artillery pounded ancient ruins used by Sindhya forces as forward operating bases, eroding their control. In November, Lake defeated another Sindhya force at Laswari, followed by Wellesley's victory over Bonsale forces at Argaon on 29 November 1803. The Holkar rulers of Indore belatedly joined the fray and compelled the British to make peace. Maharata army was totally wiped. Conclusion On December 17, 1803, Raghoji II Bonsale of Nagpur signed the Treaty of Diogayan, in Odisha with the British after the Battle of Argaon and gave up the province of Kudak which included Mughalbandi, the coastal part of Odisha, Garjat, the princely states of Odisha, Balasore Port, parts of Midnapur district of West Bengal. On 30 December 1803, the Daulat Sindhya signed the Treaty of Sergi Anjangan with the British after the Battle of Assay and Battle of Laswari and ceded to the British Rodak, Gurgaon, Ganges Jumna Dobe, the Delhi Agra region, parts of Bundelkhand, Broach, some districts of Gujarat and the fort of Ahmadnagar. The British started hostilities against Yashwantrao Holkar on 6 April 1804. The Treaty of Rajhat, signed on 24 December 1805, forced Holkar to give up Tonk, Rampura, and Bundi. Media Henty, G. A. At the Point of the Bayonet, A Tale of the Maratha War. London. Historical fiction describing the war. See also Third Anglo-Maratha War List of Maratha dynasties and states Fort of Ahmednagar Peta of Ahmednagar Alexander Adams <laughs>